Welcome everyone to this video. Today we are testing the free version of AVG and I do have a folder with a bunch of samples of malware, 222 samples in total, and we will be using these samples to see how well AVG does or does not do as far as protecting us against these specific threats. The procedure will be as follows. In a moment, I will enable all of the protections here in AVG and we'll let it sit for just a few moments to see if it can detect anything on its own after which we will run a full system scan. If there's any samples remaining, we will scan the samples folder directly. And then if there's any samples remaining after that, we will try to execute the remaining samples and see if the real-time protection can stop them. Please note that we are up to date. And at this point, let's go ahead and enable all of the protections. And with all of the protections enabled, we'll go ahead and let AVG sit here for just a few moments. It's been a few moments and I have not noticed anything pop up. Let's double check our samples folder and it looks like all 222 are still here. So at this point, let's go ahead and initiate a system scan. We will be doing the deep scan option. We will let this run until it's fully completed and then we will be back with the results. The scan has completed and it looks like multiple results have been found. And so let's just take a look here. Pretty good list. And it did automatically move everything to quarantine, so we're going to go ahead and click on done. And then let's go ahead and double check our samples folder. Looks like we have 11 items remaining. We're going to do a direct scan. And it looks like more results were found, so let's go ahead and click on done. Let's double check our samples folder again. It looks like there's four items remaining. And so let's do one more scan just for good measure. This time nothing was found, so at this point let's go ahead and execute the remaining samples. The remaining samples were executed, one of them was removed, and so at this point we're going to go ahead and restart the computer and then run some second opinion scans. After a computer restart, I ran a scan with Malwarebytes which came back positive with 9 results detected, and so let's go ahead and get these quarantined. After another computer restart, I ran a scan with MZSoft, which came back clean with zero results detected. So just a quick recap, we started with 222 samples. We let AVG sit for just a few moments to see if it could detect anything on its own, after which we ran a deep scan, which detected most of the samples. We then scanned the samples folder directly, which found additional results. And then we were down to four, one of which was removed when we began to execute them. The remaining results were removed by Malwarebytes. Please keep in mind that this is just one type of test. There's many different types of tests you can do with antivirus software, and AVG very well may perform differently in other types of tests. Regardless, you can take these results and draw your own conclusions, but that's everything for this video. If you have any comments or questions, please post them down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider sharing it. And if you'd like to support the channel, please hit that join button, the subscribe button, and that bell notification icon to get notifications on future videos. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day.